And right now. We've got item 25, CC8, uh, CC Holdings Limited, Development Christchurch Limited, Statement of Intent. Do we have, who's speaking to that one? Anyone? It's very straightforward. We've all had a chance to look at that. That's just come through from Strategy and Finance. They re we recommend... We've received the information, provide feedback on the proposed statement of intent. Is there, a, a, would, uh, Raf, you'd like to move this? Yeah. I mean Second to Jamie. Covered it well. Yep. Is there any discussion? Yani? Yeah, just wanted to, um, just clarify, um, or just, uh, just, just, um, the appointment of the other directors, like I'm just mindful that um, it would be really good to get a full board in place. And it does seem a bit, I mean, I know we want to keep this moving, so I don't want to stop it, but I just wanted to check on that process um, and the time frame for the appointment of the other directors. What other directors? To DCL, like, there's only a transitional board in place now. Yeah, no, but we're gonna chair, we're gonna appoint a chair before we appoint the directors. Okay, so what's the process for that? Um, CCHL are preparing a paper um, to take to their you know, selection process and then they'll make a recommendation to council. Okay. It shouldn't be far away. All right, I think they were gonna discuss it with you and then... They've, they've discussed yeah. some names with me okay. and I've given them some feedback. Um, we've got a, um, hopefully a shortlist and uh, but it goes through a CCHL process and then it comes um, here. So my, my only other question was um, in terms of the purpose statement, which, which I support, which talks about improved economic, social, community, environmental outcomes, it just, there's just a little bit lacking of detail around how, the, how they'll be achieved. It's very much focused on the commercial and the economic. And I mean, in a more general sense, I, you know, I, I don't think they're against trying to look at what they can do, but... I just wanted to, in terms of feedback, if we could ask for maybe some further consideration of what they might be able to do to give effect to those other well-beings. Sorry? I just thought since we're giving feedback, whether we could um, just give some feedback around having some uh, outcomes around or objectives around the other non-economic measures in terms of the well-being, so the social, community and environmental. specific projects to come back. Um, I think that the, the role, um, you know, DCL is intended to be a lean organisation providing high quality services to council across the following three areas. Development management services, investor relations and strategic advice. That is their role. Um, and within their purpose is contributing to the enhanced well-being of Christchurch. I, I don't see that there's... Yeah, yeah that, that's right. Successful okay. development, investment and regeneration projects through the... Yeah. It's, it's just that the advice that they're giving, I would presume if you're getting... You know, it's not just commercial advice, it's actually advice around the full well-beings, around the impact of those projects, that's whatever projects they're doing. So that's okay. If people don't want that feedback, that's fine. I'll, I'll just be in the minority. That's fine. Um, did, did we need to um, clarify the land at the Peterborough quarter on this paper? Does that need to be... I think it's in here, that um, leader development management process that seeks a development partner for council land in the Peterborough quarter within the central city. That's all clear? Good. Okay, so oh, that's okay. been moved and seconded. So I'll put that motion. All those in favour say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. That's carried. Brilliant. Thank you. Um,